welcome back everyone to my Lord of the Rings the card game Saga Expansion playthrough. This is the Flame of the West part 1, the first scenario. This obviously is the campaign mode based on the events straight from the novels. This is the first part of the Return of the King. This is the uh, passing of the Grey Company. Obviously where they go and encounter the Army of the Dead. So as you know I'm playing campaign mode. I use the campaign cards. I've got my Hobbit deck down here. Okay, so first things first, we have the set of Frodo, we have Aragorn instead, he replaces Frodo. Obviously, at this point in the campaign, Frodo is supposed to be with Sam up Mount Doom, so he has no threat. First player gets control of Aragorn, if he leaves play, he lose the game. He has two questing, two willpower, sorry, three attack, two defense, five health. He has an artifact equipped, he gains sentinel, does not exhaust two quests, so he's like a bonus little ally we have. I've got you of using dice of resources, we've got two of each, I'm on easy mode. I don't know it's because I'm on easy mode because I, I I'm playing campaign mode. I don't want it to be too too hard. I want a bit of a challenge, but Lord of the Rings can be quite tricky. So the campaign guide here it tells you to remove these sets from the uh, burden deck. So I've got a sort of almost fresh set of cards. I can change uh, heroes without incurring the plus one threat penalty. I can raise my threat by one, search the deck for Anduril, and add it to his hand. So I'm actually going to do that straight away. I'm going to. Increase my threat from a measly 20 to 21, because it's so low, such an easy threat to manage, to find Anderil. The reason being is because it's a, just a general good weapon anyway, attached to a noble hero, Aragorn, restricted. He gets put onto all his stats. Also, because he has an artifact, he won't exhaust a quest, which is even better. And of course, after an attack in which the attacked hero defends resolves, exhaust Anderil to target the enemy that just attacked, declare attached hero as an attacker against that enemy and resolve the attack. That's going to be great to have on that side. We, so let's read the campaign card as always. Start with the flavour text. This is the start where 1A, Forbidden, Forbidden Door. The quote reads, I must take new counsel for myself and my kindred. We must ride our own road and no longer in secret. For me, the time of stealth has passed. I will ride east by the swiftest way and I'll take the paths of the dead. So set up, set stones of Eric and Army of the Dead aside, out of play. Each player attaches a copy of Overcome by Fear to his threat dial. Remove each unattached copy of Overcome by Fear from the game. Now, Overcome by Fear is one of the burden cards here. So, it's obviously the representative of Fear we encounter in the uh, Passing of the Great Company. Attach to your threat dial, one per threat dial. I can't reduce my threat. At the end of the round, raise threat by one. Then you may spay one of Aragorn's special resources to detach Overcome by Fear and set it aside out of play. So I don't get rid of this, I'm going to increase my threat by an extra one at the end of every round. So it's going to be two per round, which is going to be quite hard. So flip it over. So 1B reads, This is an evil door, said Halbrod, and my death lies beyond it. I will dare to pass it nonetheless. When revealed, each player may add one resource to the resource pool of each hero he controls. Each player who does this must also raise his threat by three. End the planning phase, discard all cards each player's hand and advance to stage 2A. So we get one basically shot to get ready for the next onslaught. So I'm going to, let's increase my threat by 3 to add resource pool to each of my heroes. So we start off with quite a nice threat of 3. Sort of like a foreboding uh, threat though. You know, getting game, game ready for this. So uh, draw 6 cards, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six. So I'm using a Hobbit deck. I've got the uh, these spheres down here, but also there's great synergy. I always play the deck so much because I've done so many videos of this deck, and you know, at risk of repeating myself, basically the Hobbit deck has great synergy, low threat for the enemies. So we have Defender Ramas, great defender, Gondorian Shield, put it on Sam, take all the hits with his ability. Fast Hitch, we sit there on Merry because he's our killer, so we can quest with Merry and then ready him up in the combat round to fight back. Quick Beam is just a handy ally because he's cheap. Aaron Rider, just a, basically a free ally. His ability is okay, but because he's such a cheap ally, it's great for a defender, just a chump blocker. And uh, Studer Gondor is just a good card to have to increase the resources. So what we're going to do first is we are going to definitely going to attach Anduril to Aragorn. We're going to not spend all the resources for it, though. we're going to leave one just in case uh, for the use of the... Uh, Overcome by Fear card. So we're going to attach that to Aragorn. It's got as the iconic sword, so that's a pretty good start. We're going to put Studer Gondor on Merry, exhaust it, extra resources. We're then going to play Quick Beam and uh, Fast Hitch. We're going to deal one damage to Quick Beam 
because the entity is exhausted, put, put damage on him to very much straight away for some extra power. Also put fast hitch on Merry. Uh, we're going to play... I've done quite a lot of it. Actually, actually nearly played our entire hand here. Uh, then Ramas uh, and also Gondorian Shield. We're going to put that on Sam because he is our big defender. Well, that was a great, great turn one play. Okay, so... Sorry, wrong side there. 1B, so... Plan phase is over. It's got all cards in my hand and I'm at stage 2A. So only Eren Rider has been lost. So it's not too bad so far. 2A reads the past of the dead. He could see nothing but the dim flame of the torches. But if the company halted, there seemed to be an endless whisper of voices all around him. A murmur of words and no tongue that he'd ever heard before. Each player searches the encounter deck for a different location as the staging area. Shuffle the encounter deck. So let's do that first. Get out of the way. So let's put... Uh... I don't know really. Haunted Path seems pretty simple. One for raise threat by one travel to here. Staging area is there. Shuffle the encounter deck. Put that back. Okay, so then flip over to 2B. This reads uh, there could be no turning back. All the paths behind them were thronged by an unseen host that followed in the dark. So this has a threshold of X, where X is the threat of the player of the highest threat. So currently it's 21. Each player can't reduce his threat to his initial threat level. Okay, it's quite a lot. At the beginning of the planning phase, each player must choose. Race set by one, or you can't play cards this phase. That's interesting. It's an interesting quest to, to really have. So we're on the planning phase, we're on the questing phase now. So we've got quite a lot to quest with, really. We can quest for quite a lot, but we need to quest heavy because 21 is quite a lot. And we don't want it. It's going to keep going up and up and up more and more and more. So we're going to keep him out for defence just in case and quest like mad. So two, four... Uh, five, six, seven, eight because of the uh, noble hero. Nine, ten doesn't exhaust. Eleven, twelve, quite a lot. So twelve straight away. Uh, another haunted path. So twelve minus that is ten. So off to a good start. We're not too far from the halfway point of the quest. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Um, travel phase now. The questing phase. Race up by one to travel to here. Get our staging area. Saruman can hand, hold that, cover up his face. No combat. End the round. Reduce our threat by an extra one. Uh, spend one resource off Aragorn. We're going to do that. To detach, um, overcome by. So that should be on zero. To detach, overcome by fear. Out of play. We're going to put that out of the way. And then end the round. Raise the threat by one. Add a resource to all our characters. So, three. Problem is we've got no cards in our hand now, pretty much. So we're kind of banking on what we're going to draw at the start of the round. So our draw is going to be... Sneak Attack. Well, that's completely, completely useless. So we're going to play your phase. Choose one. Raise the threat by one. Or don't play cards this phase. Well, I'm not going to play Sneak Attack. No way. There's no point in playing that at all. Okay, so... I said again, I think we're just going to... Oh, actually, we're going to use Studer Gondor. Just get the resources, just in case we need the resources for later on. We're going to quest heavy again, so 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, interesting place. It's a staging area. Each enemy cannot take damage. The first player switches the encounter deck and a scar pile for an Earthbreaker enemy if us to play engage with him. So 12 minus 4 is 8. Minus 4 is 4. That's that gone. Location completed. That's 4. So put that there. That's 4. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We need ten more to succeed. We'll raise effect by one travel to here. I want to keep the enemies in the uh, staging area quite low, just just for now. So that's there. End the planning phase. In the round, that's gone. So we're okay. Raise a threat. Increase our resources. Raid up all our cards. So, Mary has a lot of resources because of the uh, effects. So. Okay, Gondorian Shield. We're in the planning phase. Race set by one, or can I play cards? You know what? We won't play cards. Gondorian Shield. As much as I want Gondorian Shield, I can live without playing just for now. So we're going to leave that there, just, just on the side. And I think we're going to say again. Quest for 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 again. 12 for the questing. Uh, when revealed, either attach or set aside overcome by fear to your threat dial. Each character you control gets mounted onto all the stats till end of the round. We're going to... Attach that back to our heroes, because we don't mind that so much. So that's 12 minus 3 is 9. 
Um, minus four is five. That's the question. So that's five. Let's see how much we've got after this. So one, two, three, four, five. So we need 26 to succeed. So we've got uh, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, eight. We've got 19. We aren't too far off. So end of the round. Um, let's just ready up all our characters. Uh, we're going to increase effect by one for this effect and another one. We're going to pay a resource to get rid of Overcome by Fear. Come on, Aragorn, get rid of the fear. Um, everyone gives a resource and then draw a card. So Mary has a lot of resources. So we get uh, Al Stone. Al Stone, again, is useless. It's good for putting allies into play quickly, but we haven't got any allies to play for my hand, so our hand is just useless. We don't, we don't care about that so much. So this quest now should hopefully put us into the uh, good points. Let's use Stuart of Gondor just for the sake of it. So 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 again. No, we'll, um, we will attach the thing back. Oh, it's annoying, really. So 12 minus 3 is 9. That's way more than enough. We've definitely done that. That's easy. We'll just get rid of all these. One second. Quest completed. On to the next part. So this is 3A, Dead Are Following. And it reads, I see shapes of men and horses and pale banners like shreds of cloud and spears like winter thickets on a misty night. The dead are following. Add Stone of Eric and Army of the Dead, enemy side, to Sage area. Each player raises threat by three to detach overcome by death from its threat down set aside out of play. Uh, I don't want to do that because, I mean, I could raise threat by three to detach it, but I can just raise it by one and spend one. To... No, I don't need to do that, it's fine. So let's get stone up. Yeah. So this is a location with five questing points. It means play card effects. After stone of Eric becomes that location, each player searches the counter counter deck and the card pile for an oathbreaker enemy as the stage and area. To travel, remove five progress from stage B. That's interesting. Okay. And maybe the good old honor of the dead card here. So this is the undead oathbreaker card. Now the phantom keyword means that if damage will go through, if after you take away the effects of the uh, defense. Instead of raising, instead of adding damage, you increase your threat, so that's going to be quite annoying later on. When it attacks, you must either attach a set aside overcome by a fear to your threat dial or discard an ally you control. So that's extremely, extremely tricky. Sis so uh, says, yes, the dead right behind, they have been summoned. While, stone, while the Stone of Eric is at the location, each Oathbreaker enemy loses the Phantom keyword and gets minus 20 engagement costs. So that's going to make... Certain things engage and leaves that. So when Stone of Eric leaves players or location, we win the game. So we've got to travel to here. But to travel to here, we need to remove five progress from here. So we need to put five on here, remove that to travel to here, then do it again. So to get past. Okay, so that's that there. We can't travel to here yet because obviously we um don't have enough progress on the location. I don't want to travel to here just yet, then again, I suppose I could really, but uh no, we're gonna we're gonna avoid that. We're gonna we're gonna just leave it alone. I could actually engage this guy and uh, fight him, I suppose. But uh, it, it's just gonna take a lot of damage, really. I mean, I could do four, uh, five, six, seven. I, mean, I could, but the phantom keyword is gonna cause the threat to go really high. So we have to leave him alone for now. So we're gonna end the round. We're gonna increase the threat by two because of this. Pay Aragorn's resource to cancel that card and get it gone. It's so annoying. Um, Ray pull the characters. Increase our resource counts. Like so. I just need to draw a good card. Draw a good card, I'll be happy. So, oh, that's not bad, I suppose. So we can happily play cards now. First of all, we're going to play uh, Darren's Runes to draw two cards and this card from my hand. Skin bark, that's good. Bottom beer, even better. So we're going to get rid of Alstone. I don't care about Alstone. I've got plenty of resources. Exhausted of Gondor to increase that. Uh, so seven resources. I've got 12 on there. So that's plenty left over to pay for Boromir. And Skin bark, and to play Exhausted. His Orc effect is pretty useless, but never mind. We're going to put Gondorian Shield on uh, Aragorn just in case. We need the uh, defense. So this guy is okay for now. We've got 50 engagement costs, so we're okay. We're questing. We're gonna get so that's we're gonna get 10 at least just to pass the questing step. I might actually kill Army of the Dead. It's the only way to really succeed. So we're gonna quest just for a little bit. So we're gonna quest just for we'll use Mary. So two, four, 
five, six, five, six in total. Just six questions. Actually, seven, eight, nine. We'll just do ten perfectly. Uh, it's got an ally control, overcome fear. We'll put overcome by fear on us. So, travel phase. We'll travel to the twisting place. Get out of the way. Search for Oathbreaker enemy. No, we'll, get, we'll get dead men out. That seems pretty simple. We'll use that one. It's quite weak. Okay. Option engage this to trigger Sam. Draw a card. Bjorn. Okay, so we're going to ready up Mary with fast hitch. So we've got a bit of combat to do here. So we're going to defend uh, Armour of the Dead with this guy. So we're going to race for it by two. What carries over? One, two. This guy's going to attack for, oh, Shadow Card, sorry. Uh, if you race up by two, or to attack him to stage nine after the attack. We'll do that. We'll put him back in there. I'll, I'll explain why in a second, because of Sam's ability. Um, he attacks as well. We're going to defend with, let's see. Sam has a lot of defense, so he has two for the skill, and so three, three defense against two is, that's plus one, so no damage goes through. We're going to fight back now. We're going to, uh, you know what, sorry, we're going to leave him there. Before we're going to have him fight back. We're going to have him attack us again with someone else. We're going to defend with Aragorn. And get, so he's got four defense, so five defense. Should be pretty good, really. Five defense. Gets plus one, so that's six. So two goes over again, so on 34 threat. We're still okay. Then we're going to sneak attack to flash in Bjorn. Um, sorry, that, that exhausts. So attack him back now. How can we can we kill him? So we need to do twelve damage to kill him. So that's uh, four, eight, ten, eleven, uh, twelve. So he's gone. He's dead. That's out of the way. Can we kill this guy though? We might be able to with Mary. Four easily more than enough. Completely wiped out. He comes back to our hand in the round. Yes, that's all of the Hobbit deck. That's what it's good for. It's good for killing. So, ready up. Um, increase our threat. A threat on uh, 36. Spend a resource. Discard overcome by fear. Aragorn's resource pool is never going to get any higher. So, five, four, and two. Draw a card. So, we've got Gandalf and Bjorn in our hands. Exhaust through the Gondor and then pay for Bjorn. We'll keep Gandalf out just for now because you, you know, actually we'll risk it with Gandalf. We're going to play Gandalf. We're going to go all out for it and play Gandalf. There we go. So we've got a lot out on the board now. A lot of things out on the board. It's going to quest heavy. So 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Uh, 18. 18 in the quest. Another one of those enemies. So 18 minus uh, 2 is 16. Minus 5 is 11. Minus 3 is uh, 8. Spend 5 progress to travel to that location. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's the location. Search can't ask half for an opaque enemy at the staging area. We'll put another one of these guys out because they're quite weak. Don't get army dead, of course. So these are going to actually engage now because their threat is lower than ours. We're going to defend one with... Um, he's only got two attacks. Defend one with Gandalf. It's plus one. Loses a fancy keyword. Easily done. Defending Ramas for the second one. Uh, nothing at all. Swing back for four to kill one. So these engage us, so we have to raise our threat by two, I think. Yep, so we're on 40 threats, my bad. Because they engage us, they have to raise threat by two each, or attach the uh, card. Ready up, Mary, kill a second one. That's that gone. So we just need to quest a lot now to win. So this should be, this should be game over. This should be, well, for us, this should be successful. We should easily win this now, with this awesome deck. Gandalf is going to be discarded. I can't afford to raise the threat. Draw a card, Aaron Ryder. We'll just play that just in case we need some, just in case anything happens. Exhausted with Gondor for four. Forgot to put one on him. Okay, so we just got to 
quest for quite a lot. So two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen on the questing. Station area, that's completely fine. Sixteen, that's completely gone. Carried over is way more than enough. And that's it. The quest wasn't that bad actually. Um it's quite I think once you deal with the uh Oh the dead guy, if you can get him out of the way, it's not too bad. Watch out for that phantom keyword. As long as you keep your eye on your threat, it's okay. But the problem, the thing with this deck is though, it has such a low starting threat of 20. So I think some decks of higher threats of 30 or more might struggle a little bit. So this reads, at each copy of Overcome by 3 attached to a player's threat dial to the campaign pool and record the name of each player it's attached to. If only the dead, the victory display, and only the dead, boom, to the campaign pool. We've earned each card into the campaign pool. So we've earned Overcome by 3. That's going to be really annoying in the game. But we've also got to flip this guy over and make him our ally. So we have a nice, decent ally. He's free, he costs zero, so already that's good. Wow, we've got massive stats. So four willpower, six attack, two defense, eight health is massive. So immune to player card effects. The first player gains control of the dead. Set up, take control of the dead. So in set up, we actually have this card out straight away. He leaves play root from the game. But straight away, we've got a massive questing character and a great attacker, six. That's going to be so good for the game. So this was a great start to play less campaign. Um, I think the deck did pretty well. Um, apart from a couple of tricky ideas of the threat dial and come by fear, but keep that threat low. Kill, any, kill every enemy you can find. Don't let them overwhelm you. And just quest heavy. And the campaign is in the bag. So that's it for this playthrough video. Any comments, suggestions, uh, leave a like down below. Uh, leave a like if you can. And subscribe. I appreciate that. And thank you for watching.